Hello and welcome to another video. My name is Boxiest, and today we're going to continue the What If series. What if events had gone differently? And in this What If, we're going to change the history of Cobra Kai. What if Chris got Sensei Kim Daun instead of Terry Silver during the events of Cobra Kai Season 4? So in this timeline, the events of Cobra Kai Season 4 would still happen, Daniel and Johnny would still team up, and they would still train their students in both offense and defense, and Kreese would still want to get another sensei to help him run Cobra Kai. In this timeline, Kreese wouldn't get Terry Silver, because he hadn't talked to him in years. Instead, Kreese would want to go to South Korea, and he would want to get Sensei Kim Daun. So, Kreese would go to South Korea, and in Korea, Sensei Kim Daun would be training her students, and she would be surprised to see Kreese. Kreese would say they needed help teaching the way of the fist, and he would say that she was the only person that can help him do that. Sensei Kim Doon would be intrigued, and the events of Season 4 would continue. While Kreese was gone, Robbie would still teach the Cobra Kai some Yaido, and by the time Kreese comes back, he would introduce Sensei Kim Doon, but Sensei Kim would come alone, and she wouldn't bring her senseis with her in this timeline. Without Terry Silver, there would be a couple of fights between Cobra Kai and Miyai Fang. Sensei Kim Doon would train the students, just like she was trained, so Cobra Kai would get more intense training in this timeline. Sensei Kim would want to find leaders within the dojo, and she would see Robbie as a natural leader, so Kreese and Sensei Kim would train Robbie. Robbie and Kenny would still have their bond, Daniel and Johnny would continue training their students, and since Terry Silver never came back, Daniel wouldn't want to take over the students' training, so Daniel and Johnny wouldn't split up in this timeline. The Cobra Kai's would still get their revenge on Hawk, and they would still cut off his mohawk, but Eli would go back to Miyoi Fang, and he would still train in offense and defense. Cobra Kai wouldn't get as much funding in this timeline, and they wouldn't get as many students, so Piper wouldn't join a dojo in this timeline. In this timeline, Terry Silver wouldn't lure Johnny to the old dojo, so Johnny wouldn't fight Silver, and he wouldn't get drunk, and tell Miguel that he loves Robbie, so Miguel wouldn't be distracted during the All Valley. Since Daniel and Johnny stayed together, Johnny wouldn't get Devin, and the night of the All Valley, Miyai Fang would enter as one dojo, and they would start winning their matches. Miguel and Eli would still fight, and Miguel would still be injured, but in this timeline Miguel would choose to fight, and he would defeat Eli. Miguel and Robbie would face each other in the finals, and they would both use a combination of offense and defense, but since Miguel was focused, he would defeat Robbie, and he would be the boys All Valley champion. Sam and Tori would fight in the girls finals, and it would be a close match, but since the referee wasn't paid off, Sam would defeat Tori, and she would be the girls' all valley champion. Miyai Feng would win overall, Kuris would be forced to shut down Cobra Kai, but Sensei Kim Daun wouldn't want to give up, and she would want to keep Cobra Kai open. Kuris would have an idea, and he would want to get Terry Silver. Those events would continue. Robbie would still go to Johnny in this timeline, Miguel wouldn't run away in this timeline. And that is where I'm going to end part 1. Thank you guys for watching. What do you guys think would have happened if Chris got Sensei Kim Daun instead of Terry Silver during the events of Cobra Kai Season 4? Let me know in the comments below. YouTube lets me know that the majority of you are not subscribed, so if you guys could subscribe, that would be much appreciated. Thank you guys for watching. Make sure to like this video, subscribe, and turn on post notifications. And I'll see you guys next time.